battle, you wanna battle? You came to the right yo, yo, place, yo, yo, yo. better pick up Man, the pace against what? Mr. Solid Snake. Realistic and solid, yo, this team you can't beat. This game's the guy, you ain't got this tech beat. Yo, yo, yo. Lo and behold, I logged into my Hasbro account and they actually put out the same slide pictures that they were using at the Hasbro panel. So you guys will actually get to see what I saw, which is really cool. So uh, these pictures are like the best you're going to find on the net right now. Uh, so take a good look. This is uh, Wave 1 from the Marvel Universe. This is the classic Spider-Man, uh, better known as the Spider-Man that was put in the, uh, in the three pack with uh, Firestar. This Hulk is absolutely amazing. <laughs> Look at this Hulk. This looks better than the two-pack Hulk that we got. This looks like a Legends two-pack Hulk. Dave Vaughn is doing amazing work. Uh, oh. This is the Astonishing Beast that uh, that they're getting in Marvel Universe. I, I mean, uh, what well, looks like X-Men First Class Beast. Um, man, amazing beast. <laughs> articulation, toe articulation. I mean, look look at this better Ray Bill. You know, now that they're doing the universe figures and Dave Honor's been working on the universe figures, it's almost like they're scaled down Marvel Legends. It's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, they keep telling us that they can't do Marvel Legends again, that they can't give us the paint apps. They can't... Look at this. I mean, geez, look at this figure, man. I mean, is this one of the best Cravens I've seen? It looks better than the Marvel Legends one almost. I just don't get it, man. I don't get it. They say they can't do Legends, but he's doing it in three and three quarters. So I'm really expecting them to step up uh, on Marvel Legends. Here we have Marvel Universe Wave 2. Uh, once again, man, I mean, you could just tell the improvement on the figures. Dave Honor's just, he's going all out. Uh, he's giving you guys the uh, new Scarlet Witch, uh, which is pretty awesome. I mean, the female figures are even getting better as, uh, as they come along. All the sculpts are looking better. I just, I hope in some instances, not in all, but in some instances that they could take these figures um, and blow them up to six inches because they're just they're they're really awesome. This is the new Punisher. Uh, the Punisher emblem looks a lot better on his chest, and the head sculpt is a lot better than the melon head that we got in the first couple of waves. Um, this is this is what I'm talking about. This is how you know when Dave Vonner's reading comics. When Dave Vonner keeps up and he loves what he does. He's giving you a future foundation Spider-Man. I mean, the guy constantly is putting out new characters and old characters in every wave uh, to satisfy the Marvel Universe fans. This She-Hulk is another ridiculous figure. I mean, tons of articulation. He's given all his figures the ankle rockers, the uh, you know waist swivel, and the upper torso swivel, double-jointed elbows. Ridiculous. Uh, check out this Kang. Uh, another awesome Kang figure here. Uh, man. See, I'm telling you, man, a lot of these figures should be, they should, it should be no problem to do them in six inch if they're doing it in three and three quarter inch. So uh, that's, that's a question that I'm going to ask uh, here at the New York Con is what's going on? Anyways, here are the Marvel Legends uh, coming up. And this is the artwork that's done by Ed McGinnis. Ed McGinnis is going to be doing kind of a classic style uh, card backs on the, uh, on the Marvel Legends figures which will feature the Build-A-Figure and it'll showcase uh, the characters in that wave, which is pretty cool. Here's the Steve Rogers, actually a pretty cool Steve Rogers. Um, I love the body that they use, the articulation, it's all there, ab crunch, uh, waist swivel, double jointed uh, elbows, all that good stuff. I'm just leery that the star's not painted on the shoulders. And uh, Hope Summers, of course, uh, Hope Summers, is I, I guess uh, I was talking to Raybot about this one, and she's apparently 16 right now in the comics. She's about 16 years old. So the face sculpt looks like it looks like it fits, and uh, they're using a shield agent body. So actually, Raybot had mentioned this, but she's got like a full-on chest, and you know, just looks a little overly developed. Maybe they should have toned down the chest a little bit or something. Made her actually look like she's 16. Uh, here we have the Extremis Iron Man. Oh my God. We have been waiting for this damn Extremis Iron Man for a long time. And you guys know what I'm talking about. This is one of the armors that we've been raving about and that we love to have. Uh, the complaint here on this Extremis armor is a lot of people feel that it's too small or too too tiny or, you know, just, just a little bit under. It's got to look like there's a guy in the suit. What people don't understand is that uh, what Tony Stark has been doing, every time he develops a new armor, it's actually, uh, you know, 
more inventive and, and, a, and a lot more sleek. And what I mean by that is it's closer to the body. For example, the new modular armor, the Bleeding Edge, that armor is almost a skin tight armor. So it's almost like he's wearing no armor. So people have, have to understand is, as Tony goes on and his armors evolve, they're going to be tighter to his body and tailored to his body. And that is the evolution of the Iron Man armor. Uh, it's not going to be a big bulky machine uh, around him. Anyways, let's move on. Here we have the claw. This claw figure is another old school classic character we've been waiting on for quite a while. Uh, he still sports these duds. So uh, this is perfect and it's gonna go great in our collection here versus our Avengers. Uh, the only thing, the only gripe I have is the fact that they're using a silver surfer body cause that body's just, just a tad bit tiny. Um, yeah, I'll have to look into the character to see exactly what his weight and height is. Uh, anyways, moving on, Constrictor, Constrictor, Constrictor. Now, uh, here's another thing about Constrictor. Here's another character I wanted from uh, from two years ago when they showed the uh, the, the custom prototype. Uh, they're, they're using a Havoc body, better known as the Bullseye body for it, which is pretty cool. It's a, it's it's kind of like a mid-sized body, and it's and it and it fits okay. I just felt maybe Constrictor should have been just a little bit more bulky, but I'm fine with it and uh, love the figure. Here, Danny, Danny Ketch, uh, Ghost Rider. Now, this Ghost Rider, uh, at first, before I had filmed, I thought it was going to be the movie Ghost Rider. Uh, but this Ghost Rider is actually awesome. It's going to come with, with the uh, red flames as the variant. And uh, also, forgot to tell you guys, Steve Rogers will come with the Photon Shield variant. Uh, and, uh, and, and, and the Extremis Iron Man will come with a Stealth variant. Uh, now let's move on here to Thor. This is the exact same Thor we got as a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. And uh, we, of course, we got him in the Lightning uh, Paint Scheme and inside a Thor package. Now this, it will be more more his, uh, his regular colors. As you can see, it represents a little bit more of what he looks like when he's chilling. And uh, this, this is kind of something more you would compare to the Marvel Select. However, I do love this, this Thor. I think it is absolutely awesome. Uh, and I prefer this one over the Marvel Select. Finally, our Build-A-Figure, Terax. So awesome. This is going to look so sick next to your Galactus. And I'm hoping they give us a Fire Lord uh, later on down the line. But great figure, man. I got a hands-on on it. And uh, it's such an awesome figure, man. I, I couldn't tell you how happy I am to have a Build-A-Figure back. And to actually have these guys at the scale they're supposed to be. So awesome. Here are the sketches for Wave 2, Bucky Cap, and then we've got Thunderball and Pile Driver, and these will be running changes, so instead of giving us a variant, they're just going to give us straight up a whole new character. Here we have the Madams, uh, Madam Mask, and Madam Hydra. Uh, those will also be running changes, and finally we get a Dakin with a removable mask, and hope to God they don't reuse a Series 6 mold. Spider-Man, I didn't really care too much to hear about unless it would have been a future foundation Spider-Man. Uh, I think it would have been cool to start building also on another team, uh, you know, to add. Uh, Drax, hello, Drax, Guardians of the Galaxy is one of my favorite teams. So I am so stoked that we're going to start building on that. And you know if they give us Drax, they're going to give us the rest of the team. So I just cannot wait to see what's going to happen with uh, Wave 3 and 4. Here you go, guys. Here is the Bucky Cap. Awesome figure, man. It almost looks like a shield agent body, but it's been retooled at the hips. And uh, this figure should feature the ankle rockers. Uh, and it's got all the articulate. Articula <laughs> oh my God, man. That's funny, dude. I just lost my tongue right now. Anyways, uh, I'm, I'm excited as, uh, as much as you guys. But uh, they've, uh, they've changed a lot of the articulation. So it's going to work, I think, guys. Well, you know, I can't really say until we have the figures on hand. But, uh, you know, everybody's going to have their opinion. And, uh, of course, everybody will judge the figures and we'll probably see uh, a crap load of reviews on the figure, too. So, uh, can't wait. Next up for Bat is Thunderball. And you can see uh, it looks like the Warpath body. But, once again, the hips have been retooled. Now, I know they're not ball joints at the hips. But it's supposed to feature the T-articulation that Toy Biz used to do, which allows the figure to fully rotate that leg forward to the side all the way around so uh as long as the articulation is there a lot of times i don't care how they do it 
I'm fine with it as long as it's going to work. Uh, looks like they also resculpted maybe uh, around that waist area a little bit and gave them new hands. Uh, and as you can see, look, check out the head sculpt. Pretty accurate on the head sculpt. It's such a nice figure. And here we have Madam Mask sporting a uh, shield agent body, basically. But what I was told was it also, her hips were also retooled with a T, T joint. So that way you could actually bend the leg all the way forward without having to rotate that little awkward half a ball joint that was there before. So, I mean, once again, the articulation is going to work in a lot of the characters and uh, we'll just have to wait and see. And uh, everybody's going to have their opinion, like I said. Now, moving on to the final character, the bath for Wave 2, Almenzola. This is cool. This is a cool bath. Um, you know, I'm not like 100% stoked about it. I'm like maybe a 75% stoked. And that that's just more because I'm into the aggressive characters. I would have probably have liked to have seen an executioner or a blast star or something, you know, some guy that's totally yoked and fights with his hands. <laughs> I don't know, but Arnim Zola is actually cool because you'll be able to put him with your red skull and your crossbones and you'll have, be able to complete like nice setups uh, from the recent comics. So, and, and another thing too, is I like the fact that they're actually taking the time to do, um, you know, oddball characters, uh, characters that we didn't think that they would do. And this is proof that they're, they're just gonna, you know, think outside the box. So I like that. It just means that they're going to keep on surprising us uh, with new characters, which is uh, which I like surprises. I, I you know I'm not expecting what I used to expect from Hasbro, which is like you know crappy figures or a crappy sculpt, which is good. It's it's getting it's getting out of you know Toy Biz's shadow. So good start, man, and uh, I'm so looking forward to this. Another thing, guys, make sure you guys uh, buy the waves when they come out. If you have kids, buy a wave for your kids. You know, uh, we want to support Marvel Legends as much as we can because they basically told us at the Comic Con that the wave and the success of this line is going to depend on us, the consumer, if we buy the product. So um, if the product is looking good and we're all happy and excited about it, let's buy it up. Um, you know, even when the waves weren't that good, I've always been a Marvel Legends fan, so I would even buy. You know the crappy waves like the last nemesis wave was crap but i still bought it and i've always continued my support for marvel legends because i was hoping for this day for the day that the you know the figures were going to evolve and they were going to listen to the fans and start pushing forward with better product and the fact that dave vonner and jesse falcon are now working with dwight makes it uh, all the better because these guys have been around the block they were with toy biz they know what's up man so they're going to help push the product uh, to a new level, and uh, and that's what we needed. And you know, uh, Shardimus Prime had a campaign uh, a couple of years ago about putting Dave Honor back on Legends, and you can only see with Marvel Universe product that he's pumping out and how good it is that it's no wonder why we would want to put him back on Marvel Legends. And I'm still hoping for that day because if Dave Honor ever does come back to Marvel Legends, it's going to be crazy fandom. Uh, it's going to get out of control. Uh, you think it's out of control now and people are excited, it would get worse. So um, I, I, I say let's continue that campaign. And, and, you know, every time you see Dave, man, push him to get back on Legends, guys. And uh, remember to continue to support Legends by buying the product. Everybody take care. Leave comments below on your thoughts.